Easter. Remember the way we greet each other on Easter morning? We say, He is risen! Our Savior Jesus, who died on the cross so that we can be forgiven for our sins and we can be close to God now, was raised from the dead. He is risen! That's what we call the good news. Well, we're having church at home again this week with Pastor Kurt and his friends, so let's see how they're celebrating. They've always got something crazy going on. Be sure and listen carefully to the Bible story this week. Hey, 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 happy Easter. Welcome to church at home. This is Pastor Kurt Johnston hanging out in my house. Yes, I know, there's a gas pump in my house. Don't judge, it's all good. It's just how I roll. Hey, this week, we're gonna have a great time learning a lot. I've got my snacks. My snacks this week are frozen strawberries. Amazing. Let's grab one. Ah, ah, ooh, ah. Maybe I should thaw them out next time. Hey, it's gonna be a great week. Church at home, I'm glad you're here. We'll see you soon.
not that low. Really wish I could have seen it for sure. When they look through the tomb, they're asking everybody, yo, where did he go? Cause he's not here. And the soldiers out there, looking all spook while they're trembling in fear. I think each other were really happy out here. J E S E S, one day, put to death. Third day, rose again. Power in his hand with a master plan. He already knew before the world begins. And he wants you to know he's coming again. So go run and tell your family, friends. Jesus is alive, yo, sing it again. Hey everyone, how's it going? My name's Ariel and I just wanted to say welcome to Church Online. We're so glad that you guys are here with us this week. You know what? It's Easter. Yeah, it's today. Today is the day. Guys, right now I'm in the middle of trying to work on and perfect a trick shot. Yes, a trick shot. And you'll see it later on during the service, but I wanted to start the service off with a worship song. Guys, today I wanted to sing a song called You Won't Let Go. And it's a song all about how God has us in his hands and how he will never let go of us. Let's go ahead and check out Helmet Guy and see what he has. You won't let go, go, go. amazes me. I mean, he's so cool. And I mean, how can you dance with the helmet on that well? I mean, can he even see out of that thing? 
That song is amazing because it tells me that, you know what, I can talk to God whenever I want. No matter how much I worry, no matter how many crazy things are going on in the world, I can always talk to God through prayer. All right, guys, so now we have another worship song for you guys, and it is John 3, 16 and 17. And here's what it says. For God so loved the world that he gave his one and only son, that whoever believes in him shall not perish, but have eternal life. For God didn't send his son into the world to condemn the world, but to save the world through him. All right, everyone, stand up on your feet, and it's time to worship elevator style. Let's do it. Oh man, I don't know how I get so tired after only singing two worship songs, but that song was amazing because it reminds me of the ultimate sacrifice that Jesus made for us at Easter. Okay guys, you know what time it is? That's right. It's time for the ultimate Easter trick shot. Okay guys, so let me explain the trick shot to you. We're gonna take one of these Nerf darts and hit one of these peeps. As you can see, the peep is set up over there atop the Tower of Cups, and the object for me is to hit the peep only and not knock over any of the cups. Let's do it. Oh man, I missed, I can't believe it. I for sure thought I was gonna hit it, but guys, you know what? That word believe, I believed and thought I could hit it, but you know what, it didn't work out. But guys, I know something that we can put our belief in and that we can believe in who will never let us down. Guys, and that's Jesus. Because of the awesome things that Jesus did at Easter, it gives us reason to believe in him. So guys, let's go ahead and check out the next Bible story and see what happens. Stories of the Bible. Jesus' sacrifice. This is Jesus, hey who is the Son of God and the Savior of the world. While Jesus was on earth, he taught everyone about God's love and healed people from their sickness. He did many miracles like calming storms and even raised people from the dead. The Jewish leaders and teachers did not like what Jesus was doing or how he claimed to be the Son of God. And so they made a plan to arrest him to get rid of him once and for all. Judas, one of Jesus' disciples, agreed to betray Jesus come in, come in. and give him over to the religious leaders for some money. Jesus was in a garden praying, and Judas showed the man who Jesus was. 
Jesus was arrested and taken to the rulers of the land so that they could decide what to do with him. Jesus was presented before the high council and they asked him if he was the Messiah, the savior of the Jews. They asked him if he was claiming to be the son of God. You say that I am. And the council was furious and they shouted that Jesus was guilty and he deserves to die. So they took Jesus before the Roman ruler Pilate and he heard the case against Jesus. Pilate didn't think that Jesus had done anything wrong. Huh, seemed okay to me. They found him to be innocent. So Pilate said that he would punish Jesus and then release him. Ah! 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 Huh, what? But the crowd kept screaming louder and louder, crucify him, we want him dead. And because of the pressure of the crowd, Pilate turned Jesus over to the Roman soldiers to be crucified. Jesus was hurt and spit on, his clothes were torn and taken from him, and a crown made out of thorns was put on his head. He was beaten so badly that he could barely stand on his own, and then he was forced to carry his cross so far up a mountain that he needed help because he could not do it on his own. Once Jesus made it to the place where he would be crucified, called the skull, the soldiers around him nailed him to the cross and waited for him to die. While Jesus was hanging on the cross, many people shouted to him, if you really are the son of God, save yourself from the cross. But Jesus knew he had to die to forgive his people for their sins. At noon, darkness fell across the whole land. Three hours later, Jesus took his last breath and finally died. At that very moment, the curtain in the temple that separated the priests from God's holy place tore in two. A soldier watching the whole thing said, this man truly was the son of God. Then a righteous man named Joseph came and placed Jesus' body in a tomb. Three days passed and it seemed that there was no hope. But very early on Sunday morning, the woman who cared for Jesus went to go visit his body and found that his tomb was empty and that he was no longer there. Ah! Don't be afraid, said an angel. He is not here. He is risen. At this, the woman remembered that Jesus had told them that he would rise again on the third day and ran to go tell the disciples what they had seen and heard. Huh? hey -oh. ah! And then for the next 40 days, Jesus appeared to his disciples and many others and showed them that he was alive and well. He taught them that what he did was the only way that they could be forgiven and be with God forever. For God so loved the world that he gave his one and only son so that everyone who believes in him will not perish but have eternal life. Guys, that Bible story was amazing. Jesus is alive. You know, people in the Bible story responded one of two ways. They either said, Lord, it's you, I believe in you, or they doubted. And you know what? The same is true today. Guys, people can choose to believe in Jesus or not to. And you know what? Jesus paid the ultimate sacrifice. He did the ultimate thing. And guys, the decision's on us. The decision's on us to choose to believe in him and be a part of his family. And guys, you know what? I wanna challenge you to talk to your family and ask them, hey, you know what? How can I be a part of God's family and accept his forgiveness that he can only offer us? Okay, you know what, guys? Now it's time to do the trick shot one more time. Let's see if we can do it. Locking and loading. And, wait, who? 
Ah, Greg. <laughs> hey, Greg, what's up, man? Ariel, hey, it's Easter time. Wait, Greg, I'm losing you. I think we have a bad connection. Hold on, wait one sec. Okay, say that again. It's Easter. I think I'm losing reception because I'm <laughs> under my table. Okay, okay. What are you doing? I'm on the hunt for Easter eggs right now. Look, I looked under my rug. Uh, I looked under my couch. Haven't found any yet. What are you doing over there? Well, I'm uh, trying to get an Easter trick shot right now and shooting a little peep with my Nerf blaster. But uh, yeah, you know, just the usual Easter stuff. <laughs> <laughs> that sounds awesome. Hey, I was actually calling to see if you aired that History Hunters episode yet. Oh, dude, no, we haven't. I was just thinking about it, but you know, that one was pretty sweet. So Greg, why don't you throw to that one right now? Awesome, perfect timing. All right, guys, this is our coolest episode of History Hunters yet. We're into some awesome stuff, and we even find an old abandoned bank safe. So stick around and let's do this. Awesome, let's do it. I'm gonna keep looking for eggs. Okay. Hey, I'm Greg, and this is History Hunters. I'm an amateur archaeologist, and every week my cameraman Dan and I go out and search for the past. Coins, fossils, hidden treasure, you name it. It's all history. And the beautiful thing about history is that we never run out of it. So, let the history hunt begin. Come on, Dan! Hey guys, and as you know, on one of our latest digs, I threw out my back. I've been in severe pain for a couple weeks, but the search must go on. Today, we're in hunt for an old bank safe that was buried long ago in the early 1900s. Now, we've been given a tip by a local online history hunter that's given us the location of the safe. Ah, now here's the only thing. Thinking about digging up that big safe is already making this back flare up. Now, I'm gonna make a call to a friend, though, who might have the right machine to get us to that safe. Now, you just gotta help me, Dan. Let's go find him. Ah, oh, Dan, the back's hurting. Let's go, let's go. Oh. Dan, it's incredible! The Dino Dig 3000! It's one of the newest machines on the market. And Rick, he helicoptered it in all the way from Barstow, California, and he brought it right here to the right location. This is where the bank safe is. We gotta get this thing to use, get it powered up, so we can start digging. So Dan, straddle up, get your protective eyewear on. We're starting to dig. Woo! All right, now we're in full effect right now. Whoa! All right, we're swinging it over now, Dan. <laughs> we're gonna start picking up some dirt. Whoa, that arm is moving up there. Woo we're getting close to the safe now. I think this is the one from the early 1900s that the bandits buried. Oh man, there's too much dirt on it now. We gotta get it cleaned up and back to base camp. But it's a little too heavy, so I think we're gonna have to call in the helicopter to get this thing out of here. We're calling Rick. Rick, we need a bird in the sky now. We're flying this thing out of here. Got it. All right, the bird's in the sky. It's hovering right now. Whoa, whoa, here we go. Rick, connect to the stage! Damn, the wind is too strong! But we gotta connect it! Woo! All right, thanks, Rick! Woo! So we successfully dropped the 
us in from the helicopter. It's at base camp, and there's one thing left to do, Dan. We gotta open her up and see what's inside. I'm thinking maybe money or gold, but something really important. Let's check it out. Here we go. Three, two, one. Dan! Oh, Easter eggs, Dan. Well, well, I mean, we didn't find any money, but I guess it's pretty cool. I mean, Easter's this weekend, so finding Easter eggs is pretty special. Now, we didn't strike it rich, but I think we still have a pretty cool story to tell. I mean, finding Easter eggs buried in a bank safe buried in Texas, that doesn't happen every day. I mean, sometimes we get caught up pursuing material things. We miss the bigger picture. I mean, we miss out on making good memories like this. But the more dangerous thing that could happen is that we lose sight of God and we stop making him the priority. Easter might seem like any other holiday with fun games and Easter eggs eggs and snacks, but it's really the most important day in history. Jesus died on the cross and he rose from the dead, freeing us from our sin. Now that's huge. Easter is our chance to remember and celebrate the incredible gift of salvation. This amazing gift and this amazing story of Jesus is completely true. And God lets us choose to believe and celebrate that Jesus is alive and with him in heaven. So no matter how you choose to spend Easter today, make sure God is at the center of your celebration. It's the best way to spend the day. Okay, well I hope you guys have a great Easter and I'll see you next week. We got to get the Easter eggs back in here, Dan. Come on. All right, that's not working, Dan. We got to try a different method. Whoa, that was one of the coolest episodes yet. Greg on the Dino Dig 3000, moving that dirt, finding that real old bank safe with Easter eggs in it. I wouldn't believe it until I saw it. And guys, you know what? That's sort of like Jesus. A lot of people don't believe in him because they don't see him. But guys, we know something they don't. We know that he's alive. He's with us today. He's with you and I now. And guys, that is the real true Easter story. Jesus is alive. Okay guys, you know what time it is. It's time for the Easter trick shot. Let's do it. Okay, here we go. Guys, I can't believe I actually got it. Look at that, I got the bunny. That took a couple tries, but you know what? In the end, it was worth it. Well, those trick shots were funny, weren't they? And I love those songs by Helmet Guy and Elevator Man. Elevator Man was singing that verse that we've learned before, John 3:16, that says, for God so loved the world that whosoever believes in him should not perish, but have everlasting life. I know some of you all have memorized that verse. Keep those words about Jesus in your heart so that you can remember how much he loves you. I hope you have a great family time today celebrating the good news of Jesus. He is risen.